So in my quest for, if not a perfect lawn, a pretty good looking lawn, come across a lot of pesticides that promise a lot of stuff, but just don't deliver. At no point are you gonna get any of your neighbors to compliment you on your clover patch, and you definitely won't be hearing that's some great looking crabgrass, bruh. So in my research, came across a product that we're gonna go over today, see if we can get some of this crap killed. See you on the other side. So folks, we're gonna keep this short and sweet, but I heard mixing tenacity and surfactant with a little bit of blue dye works wonders on crab grass and clovers. So what I'm gonna do is mix up two gallons of water. Now they have a syringe, but I'm not a fan of needles, so I will be using my trusty teaspoon spoon here. But I'm gonna add one teaspoon of tenacity and three teaspoons of surfactant and three teaspoons of coloring dye. So let me get that mixed up and let's see what it does. So now that it's mixed, let me share something with you. All three are in liquid form and I found out the reason for the syringe. So you won't have blue fingers. So folks, this is my plan of action. Because it takes two weeks for this product to do anything, this obviously will be the first video and then I will give an update video in about 14 days on the progression. I want to focus on these two spots right here because I'm going to do a time lapse and come out here every day to show our progress. So now let's go ahead and get them sprayed and they're going to encourage you just to spray once even though you'll want to probably give an overspray. Do not do so. We're going to spray these once, let it sit for the next two weeks and see what happens. I can see it right now bubbling up on the leaves so that is a good sign that it seems like it's gonna last because it'll embed into the weed. So guys, that's all I have for you today. But again, we'll see you in two weeks on this video. So until then, everybody have a great night. This is your boy Kachi's Kid. Peace, y'all.